What's up everyone and welcome back to SNEN's YouTube channel. In this episode we have a special video. As you can see here on the counter we are not going to cover the three main colonies today. So the main Pennsylvanicus colony here, the Campanatus Castaneus colony here, and then the new queen uh, Campanatus Pennsylvanicus here. We will do a follow up with these because we do need to name each of these three colonies. But in this video we're going to go over what happened to me uh, over the week in this past weekend with these right here we'll go over this shortly so stay tuned and we'll be right back after the intro all right welcome back everybody to sne ants youtube channel like i said in the very start of this video we're not going to go over much of these three colonies today we're not going to worry about most of any of this stuff in the background the only update i will give you is i did take the heat off of all three colonies um, just temporarily we're not getting ready for diapause just yet i wanted to kind of just slow the growth just a little bit but in this video we're going to go over what i found over the weekend now as i told you guys in the past i am based on the east coast of the united states i'm based in central virginia and apparently over the weekend we had a nuptial flight now i'll briefly go over this if you're new to ant keeping and you follow the channel nuptial flights are when new queens in the colony also known as elates will exit the colony with the male ants and they will take off in flight they look like a big swarm of a lot of people think them as like um, almost like a bee swarm or a, they look like a gnat swarm full of a bunch of gnats but it's actually not it's a bunch of male ants and queen ants so we had a nuptial flight, and I didn't know it until I drove to town. Uh, me and my fiance, wife, we were driving to town, and I noticed when we got in the car, there were ants all over the car, all kinds of male ants over the car. And I was like, huh, that's crazy, because I know nuptial flights are starting to happen. So we drove to town, and I noticed it. I stopped at a stoplight, and a queen ant flew directly on my hood and sat there. And I said, and I told her, it's like, we're having an upstream flight across this area. I need to get back home as quickly as we could. So we went and did what we were gonna do. We come back home. I grabbed a container and I went outside. This is gonna be kind of a how-to video if you're kind of interested on how this process works. But what you wanna do is if the nuptial flight is happening in your area and you want to get a queen out in the wild and kind of start your own colony from that instead of, you know, I bought these colonies and I've told you guys in the past these were bought. I did not catch either of uh, the three of these. If you want to start with the wild queen, get a cup during a nuptial flight and go outside and just look around. It could be anywhere on your car, on the ground, on tree limbs, on in the grass. And what we found were these queens here. Now, as you can see, I don't have uh, enough test tubes to house each of these queens individually um, and that's a mistake I made. I, these are the four test tubes I have. The first thing you want to do, capture all your queens right in the cup. Then set them off to the side, put a cap on them, make sure they're not attacking each other number one. But number two, what you want to do is find out what kind of queen you've caught. So doing a little research asking around in the discord channels that i've uh that i've told you guys that i'm in these are apparently again i'm going off of what i've been told these are actually laceus americanus um or laceus species so i know there is uh laceus niger and um qu quite a bit of that's the most popular one that people are familiar with but there's uh these also that are laceus americanus so Laceus are what are commonly referred to as garden ants. Um, they're your typical ants that are out in your garden, out in your yard, and their nests can get huge. What we currently have, and if again, if you haven't gone over this, I keep referring to them as their scientific name, but Campanatus pensylvanicus, which is commonly referred to as a carpenter ant. Then we have the Campanatus castaneus, which is also a carpenter ant, but the red variant. And then this is also just another typical carpenter ant colony. These are considered garden ants. I've told you guys before I got back into the hobby with these three, I did have a colony of a phenogaster and it just didn't work out. Their care is a lot more complex than I originally thought and looked into and I didn't do well with that colony so I ended up releasing them and they are around this area so they're a native. Hopefully with these they're a lot easier to care for. 
Um, and the biggest issue with a phenogaster is they don't uh, have the ability to share food with each other or the brood. Uh, they don't have the social stomach that most ants do and a phenogaster does not. So they have to eat and drink on their own and they have to bring the food back to the brood and they have to, again, eat and drink on their own. That is very difficult for a new ant keeper. So I'm gonna just keep that in mind. When you're looking for a new ant, make sure they have a social stomach and they can share food between one another. Uh, uh, almost all ants do, but some species don't. A phenogaster apparently does not. Garden ants or laceus do have that. So I'm going to attempt to raise these from queens to colonies. Now, why did I get so many? The biggest thing I want you guys to know if you're a new ant keeper and you're going out after during a nuptial flight or after a nuptial flight and you're gonna go ant or queen hunting, get as many queens as you possibly can. This improves your chances of getting a queen that is mated. Now, I'm going to tell you now, all of these queens are not mated. I don't know which ones are, are and which ones are not, and there's a strong there's a possibility that none of these queens are. And there's a couple kind of like common sense things you can do when you're out queen hunting is number one, if you see a bunch of queens in an area, check around the surrounding area and make sure you're not getting the queens that are coming right out of the nest and haven't gone on their flight yet. You don't really want to catch queens that just literally walk out of the nest and don't get time to mate. So if you're finding a bunch of queens in an area, make sure you're not just literally catching queens that are walking out of the nest. That's kind of not what we want to do. We want to try to get the queens that have already taken flight, already mated, and have landed and are searching for an area to hide. The second thing is catch as many as you can. Um, because again, your chances are going to improve the more queens you have. So apparently, again, I'm not an expert on this species. I'm pretty familiar with Campanatus at this point. We all know that. As we can tell, I went from one queen with six workers to over, I mean, close to a thousand now in this colony. This colony's grown and this colony I've rebrewed, boosted, and she's doing wonderful. So I'm pretty experienced in Campanatus at this point. Laceus, I've never kept. We're gonna attempt this, but from asking around and you know, it's okay to ask around. If you don't know anything about an ant species, the ant keeping community is overall pretty uh, receptive to questions and they will give feedback. And you know, most of the time, other ant keepers are pretty excited to share any kind of information they have. Um, and that's why I love this community because you guys are all typically really nice to each other and we try to keep it that way. Newcomers, we welcome into the community, into the hobby. You know, we're trying to help people get into this hobby and enjoy it as much as we can and have success with it. We don't want folks getting queens or colonies and then they don't know what to do and they don't like the, um, the hobby anymore. I reached out and found out that these are Laceus Americanus and the queens are actually semi-polymorphic. Um, again, you want to fact check me on that. I'm not super familiar with. Essentially is the queens found uh, colonies together at first. So it's okay to have all the queens together at first. Once one of the queens starts having brood and the brood emerges, the other queens that are not either A, producing brood or B, not, um, or, or not the brood's original queen, they will kill. You can do one of two things. If you have enough test tubes, separate all of these into individual test tubes and then just wait, you know, put them in a, a dark room. What we're gonna do and then what I've done in the past is, you know, what we use to hibernate these three colonies. I literally unplug it from the wall. It's not cooling anymore. I can throw these test tubes in there and leave them for a month because we're not using it to hibernate these three and it's a dark place and it's quiet and it's, they can found a colony. What we're gonna do is we're going to leave them alone for a month. Um, we might check on them every few weeks or so, but we're gonna leave them in the mini fridge by themselves for a month and this is going to be our next little project as we kind of expand these three colonies themselves and then that way we can follow along and i can show new ant keepers how to start a colony from literally going out catching a queen putting her in a test tube setup and leaving her alone for a month now i've told you guys before we're not feeding we're not doing anything we're literally putting them in the test tube filling the test tube with water putting a piece of cotton then we're putting the queens in and then we're plugging them. That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna leave them alone after that. After we get, hopefully, at least one of these queens start laying eggs that are fertile and we get a founded colony started, we wanna leave them in the test tubes until they get enough workers. A good majority of people, depending on ant size, Campanatus are different. You can literally put these into a mini hearth or a small formicarium with about six to 10 workers. They'll be fine. These queens, 
are you know rel relatively about the same size as a, a work campanized worker maybe a little smaller if you can see their workers are really tiny they're garden ants so you want these to have i would say um probably close to 20 to 50 workers when you move out of the test tube this is plenty of room because the ants are so small to found a champ to found a colony this can be their founding chamber and then we will move them into a, a formicarium now talking about that if you have been a long time watcher you'll remember this setup from the new pennsylvania queen i had her in this discus setup from tar hill ants and it didn't really work because there was too much room and the queen was by herself always in this corner and ants are stressed when they have too much room unless they have some workers to help them out this is um a little too big so the mini hearth is doing great she's got brood boosted i'm leaving her alone we're just feeding watering and making sure they have uh, nectar up here what we're going to do once one of these queens have a good enough founding colony we're going to move them into this discus you can see one problem with this uh, formicarium now again I've gone over this before it's literally a round formicarium with a top that pops off um, it's actually really nice for viewing because you can literally just look right down in there so I think this will be a really good setup once one of these queens start a colony and I, honestly it's probably big enough to keep them housed in this for quite a while um, because these uh, ant species are so small it doesn't have an area to feed you can't feed them you can't water them um, all they have is the humidity chamber and then they have one hole um, this can easily be unplugged and you can add an outworld so i've asked mac and again i will follow up with you once we have the answer in, in one of these videos if it was possible to get an outworld of a mini hearth edit it to where it's just an outworld like it is but instead of having the hole in the bottom we'll have a hole in the side and we'll connect it to this as like a mini outworld. Now I have another outworld from Ants Canada that I can use if I absolutely need to. I'd rather not, but if we get to that point and he cannot do that for us, I might reach out to a couple other uh, ant friends on Discord to see if they can do something like this for me, or I'll just use the Ant Canada little mini outworld that they have. That way I can water them and feed them. That's the plan going forward. I wanted to kind of introduce you to these queens. I will show you each test tube individually really quick before we end this video, but you can see them. They're all healthy. They're all, they all still have their wings. So we can kind of go through the whole process once hopefully at least one of these queens starts um laying eggs now i want to kind of put emphasis on one test tube this test tube that has four um i think has already started that process um if you can see maybe not it's very hard to see but there is a wing that's been taken off um one of these queens she's already taken off her wings and i can't get in um close enough i can't see it right now but there are little I want to say white dots in there but again i'm getting too ahead of myself i want to leave these alone so if any of them work i hope it's uh the test tube with four in them we'll see stay in tune stay in touch watch for these follow-up videos if you're kind of curious i don't see a whole lot of uh laceous videos that come from the u.s um a lot of european ant keepers keep laceous and they are you know they really enjoy them because they get so big they are just um they're pretty much an overall pretty easy ant keeping um ant they're very beginner friendly um they're very hardy ants they have a little bit of aggressiveness to them so you know once you feed them they'll come out and rush it so we'll see uh, and hopefully this is another good little ant species that we can keep now again i did tell you i wanted five ant species so now this is one of these will be one two three and four um and i talked about maybe keeping harvester ants uh because that was one of my childhood ant colonies was a harvester ant colony so we'll see we might end up adding more but for now we're focusing on getting a bigger nesting uh formicarium for the main colony the campanatus we're making sure that they are growing as you can see they're they're actually getting really brave and they're coming out on camera now which is wonderful um and then we're making sure that our pennsylvanicus queen our new pennsylvanicus queen is doing great um and i don't know you can kind of see in there just for a little update oh you can wonderful um they're doing really good uh they're growing they have a lot of brood back in this area right here um and they have quite a bit of workers i'd say every bit of uh 20 to 30 workers in there now so and again we only brood boosted with about six so you can see brood boosting works um some people frown on it but it is the best way to give a colony a chance that you want to keep that's doing wonderful so each of these maybe i can get a little side shot in here 
of the Campanatus Castaneus colony for you real quick. As you can see, they're doing really well. Um, and they're not, obviously we don't really have to go over the main colony, but hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did and you learned something and you want to kind of follow along, please give me a like, um, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We are on the way to, uh, we've already broke 500 subscribers. Our next goal is a thousand. If you have questions, post them in the comment. I reply to every comment I can, every question I try to answer. Um, I give all you guys the support that you've given me and I will continue to do so. I thank all of you for watching. Thank all of you guys for all the support you've given me. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.